This is a story about Yowie, our yeah, water serpent. <coughs> long, long time ago, after the creation, Kuti Kuti created the land and, you know, put everything in place. He got up on the highest mountain peaks, one foot on Gundabooka and the other up on Mount Grenfell. And he looked back over the country, surveying the country, see, surveying the land. But there was one thing lacking that he couldn't see, and that was water. And he knew that <coughs> trapped in the mountain was a spirit, water spirit. So he decided he'd call out to him, see? Yowie! Yowie! He got up on the highest mountain and sang out to Yowie to come out. But yeah, because Yowie was trapped right in the mountain, he, he didn't hear him. So anyway, the spirit of Emu decided to go back up into the sky and call out from up there with a roar like thunder, see, and all that. He got back up there and he's singing out again to Yowie, Yowie, Yowie. But Yowie still didn't hear, so the <coughs> spirit of Emu said, this is no good. We need the water on the land so for the people and the animals to come forth. And uh, so he came down with a roar like thunder and banged on the mountain and split the mountain. When he split the mountain, of course, Yowie was able to come out and drag out all the water from tra being trapped in the mountain. So he went out and created the fresh water holes and depressions out in the dry country where there's no river. So Yowie, <coughs> after he'd, he'd done all that, just filled the water holes and everything, depressions, he went back into the mountain, then he got, went back into the mountain, and that's where he's, he's camping today, he's still in the mountain at Ivano, Mount Monero. And uh, this story is, is, uh, is a very powerful one as well, because old people always tell us today, if ever we're lost and we see a mountain range, they said, you head for that mountain range because you'll always find enough water there to survive on, to keep your mouth moist. That no matter what part of the mountain you go, there'll always be water around there, either in a little water hole or leaking out the mountain. And that's what we tell our kids when we take them out camping or whatever, you know. But today we also teach them to get a branch off the tree, off a gum tree or a box tree, peel the outer bark off and then twirl that around you your mouth to get the moisture in your mouth. So we could do that exercise with them as well. So yeah, that's that's the story of Yao is not a short one but it's really effective. So Spirit of Emu then went back up in the sky and of course the animals and the, the people he, the people from sacred places came out as well as the animals all came out then to to drink the water. Yeah, so we got some very short ones, and you can tell that one in a couple of language words, I think. <laughs> do you want to do that? <laughs> no, not now, mate. <laughs>